Hello everybody and today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best, but not if the best, but it is the best, so I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best um, rare Pokemon finder uh, Twitter or coordinates if I should say so myself. This is called Tyranitar Bar, it's at Tyranitar Bot as well. And this is how it will look like, Tyranitar Bot will post, um, they will post notifications if you turn on notification posts, of course, but they will tweet um, coordinates of rare um, Pokemon. For example, there was a Tyranitar that was tweeted 7 minutes ago with its IVs of 44 and its movements as well. So, I'm going to be showing you guys that I'm going to be teleporting to a Larvitar with its 96% IVs. So, we're just going to press the... We're going to press on that link that they give you and we're going to copy the chords. And we're going to go into our Fly GPS. That is right here. Fly GPS. And we're going to be teleporting to those coordinates. I, I think it's somewhere around here. Because I was trying to teleport, but I got interrupted, so I had to end the uh, the recording, and I had to do it again. But yes, okay. So coordinate search, and s okay. So let's paste to one, and then it's a thirty nine point, and then here it's like this, and it's a negative one hundred five. So we're gonna search. Yes, I knew I was here. GPS, and then Pokemon Go, and then we're going to Pokemon Go. I'm sorry for having a messy background in, in um, in my home screens. You know, I just I am lazy and I don't like cleaning my backgrounds and stuff. But don't worry, guys. I am going to be doing that in the near future. But as so, I let me get back into this Tyranitar bot. The reason I trust this Tyranitar bot is because I've been using it, and so far all the coordinates I've, um, all the coordinates I've. Um, typed and looked for a Pokemon. They've always been there. So that is the reason why I trust this But besides that, I mean Tyranitars I see here. They're always in when, whenever I teleport. They're always in that location. So Yeah, I mean it's pretty accurate and as you guys can see this Larvitar is here with its 96% IVs and its move set of course as well and that's catches Larvitar I have just barely turned to level 8 as well, so yeah, I turned to level 8 when I catch a Pidgeot, and I was really, oh no, <laughs> oh, I forgot I caught a Pokemon in San Francisco, well, almost San Diego I mean, but yeah, as you guys could saw, that Larvitar was there, I could have caught him, but <sighs> I messed up. I am going to say it, as you guys can see, I caught this Tyranitar today, the 20s, at 2.26, and then this Larvitar escaped, but that's not going to end there. I am going to show you that other Pokemons do actually spawn, and it's just not fake, like other sites that are out there and I don't trust at all. So, for example, let's refresh this page and let's go down. As you guys can see, there is this Pokemon with the 98%. I mean, I mean, I, I, I guess this Pokemon would be a new entry to my Pokedex. But, yeah, I am not going to catch it because I am soft banned and I am not lazy, but I'm just in a time, time, time base and I have to do this quick. So yeah, let's teleport to this spot. Let's court search. I believe there's a negative 77. I'm not sure. All right, here. I think there is a negative 77. Okay, 77, negative, search. It's gonna bring us to like this park and we're just gonna bring to Pokemon Go. And all right, service was started. Right, just to make sure is is it yes negative 77 so let's go back into pokemon go let's exit this and our um gps is here already so if we move around this pokemon should start appearing here and keep in mind i believe this pokemon's 96 percent ivs 
So yes, as you guys could see, he's here. I am not going to catch him because again, I am soft banned and it would just be a waste of Pokeballs. But you guys could see, I am just going to you know throw a Pokeball so you guys could see that I am soft banned. So yes, the way you guys could get on soft banned is just by spinning a Pokestop around 40 to 50 times, and that will unsoft ban you. So there's a Pokestop there. I could just teleport there or just walk myself there, and on get myself get myself unbanned but i'm just too lazy to do that but yeah guys i just wanted to show you guys um one of the best um you know rare pokemon finder i guess you could call it that and it's on twitter and it's name it's tyranitar bot or you could also put at tyranitar bot and you should find this and well this is basically how you could find rare spawns as you guys can see, is that a Tyranitar? Yeah, look, as you guys can see, a Tyranitar was just tweeted. Its IVs are 48, and it was tweeted two minutes ago, so that means that this Tyranitar should be here, and I'm going to teleport to it, but I am not going to catch this. I am for sure, I am not going to catch this, and I'm just going to copy this cords, and I'm going to my Fly GPS, I am pasting the cords. Okay, so it's at, I think it's 138. Let me make sure. Yes, 138. Okay, so it's 35. All right, now let's paste the cords. 138, search. And as you guys can see, there's going to be a Tyranitar in this location where the Tyranitar bot told me that it was going to be. And it's uh, exact location as well. Like, you stand right on top of it as well. But I cannot demonstrate that because... I have to move around so it loads quicker otherwise it's gonna take a long time for me for now for not for me but for the Pokemon to spawn here especially because it thinks that I moved way too quick and as you guys can see the Tyranitar is right there and in the sighting list you can see there's a Tyranitar there oh all right here we go Tyranitar is here and as you guys could see this is more evidence to proving that this Tyranitar bot is well uh, it's well accurate and I'm just going to catch this Pokemon just to see what it's um what it's CP would be because my I think my highest CP is like a 448 so I'm just going to the journal and see how big this Tyranitar is so let's go to journal and this Tyranitar CP was 572. Okay, not bad. I mean, yeah, not bad. But yeah, you guys, I'm just showing you guys that this does work. So if you guys are spoofing, use this. This is the best way to catch Pokemon. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, you know, leave a like, a comment. And well, as always, subscribe if you like what you saw. Thank you, guys. Bye.